Ever wondered what makes the Power Stone so ridiculously powerful? We all saw Ronan get vaporized and Captain Marvel go full binary, but how does it actually asterisk work asterisk? Let's dive into some of the wildest theories about the Purple Infinity Stone. First up, the Cosmic Battery Theory. This one suggests the Power Stone isn't generating energy itself, but is actually a key that unlocks and channels all the ambient energy of the universe. Think of it like a universal power outlet. When someone holds it, they're not just holding a stone. They're tapping into the raw, chaotic energy of creation itself. This explains why it's so destructive and why weaker beings cut and handle. It, it's a, like trying to drink from a fire hose connected to a supernova. The sheer volume of energy just tears them apart. Next, the reality anchor theory. This idea is a bit more mind-bending. It proposes that the Power Stone's primary function is to enforce the laws of physics. It's the cosmic constant that holds everything together. When you use it, you're not just throwing purple energy around. You're temporarily bending or even breaking those fundamental laws for a specific purpose. Want to blow up a moon? The stone just tells physics to take a coffee break in that specific area. This would make it arguably the most fundamental stone of all, because without it, the other stones wouldn't have a stable reality to manipulate. Finally, there's my personal favorite, the living entity theory. What if the power stone isn't just an object, but a form of sentient primordial energy? We saw Ego, a celestial, was a living planet. It's not a huge leap to think an infinity stone could have some form of consciousness. This would explain its selective nature, why it seems to have a will of its own, almost testing its wielder. It's not just about physical strength. It's about willpower. The stone might be looking for a host who can align with its immense ancient purpose. It doesn't just grant power. It asterisk is asterisk power, searching for a worthy vessel to express itself. So is it a cosmic battery, a reality anchor, or a living god entity? The truth is probably a mix of all three, which is what makes it so terrifying and awesome. What's your theory on the Power Stone? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe for more deep dives into your favorite universes.